welcome to GreenBiz Studio. I'm Nathar Rajendran, Corporate Sustainability Manager here at GreenBiz, and I'm so excited today to be speaking with Danan Margison, Chief Product Officer at Carbon Direct. He will be speaking on the importance of data and accelerating the ability to access accurate and cost-effective carbon management. Hi, Danan. How are you? Good, Nathar. Thanks for having me today. Thanks for being here. Would you mind telling us a little bit more about your role and Carbon Direct? Yeah, so I'm Chief Product Officer at Carbon Direct. Carbon Direct was started about three years ago with a mission to help organizations with carbon management broadly. So in this case, it's measuring your emissions and then helping you find credible reduction pathways and also credible and high quality carbon removal credits. We've uh, started with a team very focused on science first guidance to organizations. So we have about 40 full-time scientists on staff and we're growing that number uh, uh, month over month and also have a, a very robust software organization and a team that sources quality supply. And a, a big part of your role is working with data and its relationship to carbon management. What role do you see data playing in that? I know that's a huge question, so feel free to take it in whatever direction you see fit. Yeah, I mean, the, the two things that really matter for climate, obviously, are reducing the amount of emissions that we emit into the atmosphere. We're doing about 40 to 50 billion tons per year. And there's also 1.4 trillion tons already in the atmosphere of CO2. So bringing that number down through removals. And data is critically important for both of those. If we're going to identify credible reduction pathways, we need to know where the hotspots are in your existing operations and find ways to mitigate and reduce them. Um, right now, that's very difficult because if we're looking at supply chains, it's very hard to identify where emissions are coming from. We don't have measurements on every single thing produced. We don't know which parts of the supply chain necessarily should be focused on. And also it can be hard because the solutions are just really early stage. So for a lot of organizations, as an example, flights are a huge source of emissions. What options do you have other than not flying? Um, of course, like changing the seat class, but it's hard to buy sustainable aviation fuel credits. It's even harder slash impossible to fly on an airline that only uses uh, sustainable aviation fuel or renewable energy for those flights. So we're trying to guide people in terms of good choices to make and data just helps us make those choices more easily and better. And it will only improve over time as we get more access to supply chain information, get more access to the actual energy usage of different types of transportation, et cetera. So that's something we're really focused on at Carbon Direct. Great. Thank you. And, you know, you touched on some of the challenges in the space, but what do you see to be some of the opportunities that we can focus on? Yeah, so data and AI in general is making things that humans have always done or at least recently done much faster, much cheaper, much easier. So it's a really exciting time for companies that have been a little bit sheepish to get involved to start passing their data along to organizations that are going to help them understand it and answer questions about their emissions profile and give them opportunities to reduce and remove. So um, specifically, you know, with uh, with ChatGPT, you can now ask deeper questions of your data than you ever have before and in a conversational way. So that's really exciting. If you're kind of not sure where to start, you can say, hey, what are my hotspots? What if I did X? What would the result be? Um, we're really excited about that. But also for things like carbon accounting, AI is just making it a lot faster, a lot easier. Um, right now, there's probably only in the thousands of organizations globally that have done a robust carbon accounting. There's no reason that can't be the tens or hundreds of thousands with AI. So we're really excited about those advancements and how companies can get involved. Wonderful. And to finish us off, what is one lightning piece of advice that you would give other companies or organizations seeking to address some of the same opportunities and challenges that you're working on? I think it's just important to get started, whether it's getting familiar with how AI will impact your business and how you can use it to, to mitigate and leverage your, um, your climate program, um, but also just with carbon measurement and making that journey towards the reduction and removal path. I think everybody is struggling with, you know, there's so little, so much to do and so little we can do right now. And to some degree, that's true. But at the same time, there's a lot of small steps we can take and giving more data participating in the process, learning more about your organization is a really easy and cheap first one. And we encourage everybody to do it. Thank you so much, Janan. You just heard from the Chief Product Officer at Carbon Direct, and we hope that all of you who are tuned in today will join us again soon at GreenBiz Studio. Thank you.